Page 11 of your workbook covers the lead placement. So let's go over these, starting with the limb leads. So uh, the limb leads are the right arm electrode, left arm electrode, left leg electrode, and right leg electrode. And these go on the leads typically in a 12-lead ECG. And uh, what I would say to you is that if your local hospital does, does a 12-lead ECG and they place the limb leads on the wrists and the ankles, I would try to do the same in the field. And what I typically do is I um, get the patient on the stretcher before, before I do a 12-lead ECG and I do uh, place the electrodes on the wrists and the ankles. Now you want to avoid um, large muscle mass like the forearms or the biceps and place it on the wrists. Just try to avoid the tendons a little bit. And on the ankles, uh, just above the medial malleolus, um, not over the tibia, but sort of between the tibia and, and the, the calf there. Um, because if you put it on large muscle mass, it'll create artifact. If you put it on bone, you may not uh, sense the, the cardiac signal as well. And now placing it on the limbs may seem a little awkward from what you're used to. But um, in my experience, what happens is, you know, some paramedics will place the limb leads on the chest when they do a 12-lead ECG, like here, here, and here, kind of standard. But the trouble with that is that when you do a 12-lead ECG with the limb leads on the chest, when you bring that ECG into the hospital and the hospital does their own ECG, their ECG will look a little bit different from yours. And what that translates to in terms of perception on the part of the hospital staff is, hmm, there's something wrong with the monitor used by the paramedics, or they don't know how to do a 12 with ECG. So rather than avoid that problem of perception, what I simply do is I put the limb leads on the limbs. And there is absolutely no reason why you can't put the limb leads on the limbs when the patient's on your stretcher and get an artifact-free tracing. Um, the only time you get artifact is when the patient's moving the limbs, and we want to ask them to keep still while we do the, the cardiogram. Um, or if we place it over muscle mass, or if the, the lead wires are a little tight. So sometimes it's a matter of sort of playing with the wire so that they're not too tight and that they're not bouncing, that maybe they're supported by the blankets or something. And, um, and if at first you don't get a clear tracing, um, then look to see which specific leads are giving you trouble and then troubleshoot those specific leads. So that's why I recommend doing the uh, limb leads actually on uh, the limbs. Now, um, the precordial leads are, um, and this is best done in the lab, but the uh, V1 is placed in the uh, fourth intercostal space, right sternal border. V2 goes in the fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. And then after V2, we usually place V4, and V4 goes in the fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. And then you just simply place V3 between V2 and V4. V5 and V6 go in a straight line from V4. V5 goes uh, at the mid, um, sorry, V5 goes in the, in the um, anterior axillary line, which is the armpit fold, in a straight line with V4. And V6 goes at the mid axillary line, which is uh, sort of midway in the side of the chest, uh, in a straight line with V5. So those are the six precordial leads. Now, um, as uh, just a, a quick summary of the 12 leads then. So we have the three bipolar leads, one, two, and three. Um, and that gives us three leads. And then we have the three unipolar leads, ABR, ABL, ABF, and that's three. And then the six precordial leads, um, uh, which are also unipolar leads. So that's six, and that gives us a total of 12. Now, as I mentioned before, if you have a patient with acute inferior wall MI, the gold standard is that we have to do right-sided precordial leads. So what we do simply is we um, disconnect the lead wires from V4, V5, V6, and we place electrodes for uh, those same leads over on the right side. So the V4R opposite V4, V5R opposite V5, obviously, and V6R opposite V6. And uh, then when we run another ECG tracing next to V4, V5, V6, we write uh, simply an R to indicate that these are right-sided precordial leads. And uh, if we see ST segment elevation in any one of those leads associated with an inferior wall MI, we know we're looking at someone with an RV infarct. And I'll talk about that in more detail later on.